Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Wednesdays with Larawana. Right here on CanawanaBuy.com, each Wednesday we bring you the latest in recreational and medicinal marijuana news and information. And this week I found a couple of great stories for you. Um, the first one has to do with fibromyalgia. Now fibromyalgia is a terribly painful condition. Uh, many women suffer from this, but some men as well. But I found an article that talks about the top four marijuana strains for treating fibromyalgia. Does marijuana help fibromyalgia? A 2010 study from McGill University in Montreal found that marijuana can help chronic pain patients who are not getting significant pain relief from traditional pain treatment methods. According to the study, the drug was used to help sufferers of painful conditions fall asleep more easily and sleep more soundly. Both highly beneficial for those suffering from fibromyalgia. Subjects found that the drug to actually be more effective than many of the popular sleep medications with fewer side effects. Next came a 2011 study published by PLOS1, the peer-reviewed journal put out by the Public Library of Science. The study found that patients had a significant reduction of pain and stiffness, enhanced relaxation and increased quality of life and feelings of well-being. There is, however, no proof that marijuana had an effect on fibromyalgia itself. Those who use the drug use it for symptomatic management uh, to help with sleep and decrease pain levels, but not to actually reduce the progression of the condition or change its course. Now, the top four marijuana strains for treating fibromyalgia are blackjack. This is an excellent sativa dominant strain, uh, great for depression and nausea. Number two, grape ape. Grape-like smell and taste with a hint of skunk works for stress relief, nervousness, and chronic pain. AK-47 crossed with blueberry, it's an auto uh, hybrid. Uh, this has a sativa punch of the AK with the pain relieving qualities of blueberry. And finally, Blue Dream. This hybrid is uh, great for relaxing and daytime pain relief. Light, smooth blueberry and spice taste. So, uh, next up we have for you, scientists explain why marijuana users never overdose. And this is from leafscience.com. Scientists have discovered a molecule in the brain that may limit the effects of too much cannabis. Marijuana has never been linked to an overdose death, and new findings may explain why. Published in the journal Science, a f uh, French researchers have identified a natural hormone that reverses marijuana intoxication in rats. In an interview with WebMD study author Dr. Pierre Vincenzo Piazza, he explained that rats exposed to THC showed a dramatic rise in brain hormone called pregnolone. This hormone also seemed to prevent marijuana's intoxicating effects. When the brain is stimulated by high doses of THC, it produces pregnolone, a 3,000% increase that inhibits the effects of THC. But the study originally meant to, for developing treatment for cannabis addiction has been met with different interpretations. While the authors say an addiction treatment based on pregnolone uh, could soon be tested in humans, others believe the study explains how the brain protects itself from a marijuana overdose. By binding to cannabinoid receptors, THC triggers the release of pregnolone, which in turn weakens the THC's action on the receptors, a negative feedback loop that could prevent marijuana users from getting too high. Considering the low rates of cannabis addiction, Mitch Earlywine, professor of psychology at the University of Albany, adds that the drug for cannabis abuse may not even be necessary. Although the authors pitch this as a novel way uh, to treat cannabis abuse, it's actually superb if partial explanation of why cannabis appears to have no potential lethal dose and why its capacity for creating addiction is more like caffeine than that of any illicit drug. Scientists have been studying pregnolone since the 1940s for conditions like stress and arthritis, but only recently has the hormone caught the attention of the cannabis researchers. While the pregnolone pills are sold as supplements, Dr. Piazza and his team are now working on how to deliver the hormone in higher doses. 
Now, I also found a great little uh, uh, rules of the circle. If for those of you that are coming to uh, either Colorado or Washington for the first time to enjoy the benefits of legal adult med uh, marijuana, not medical, but recreational, these are the rules of the circle. Number one, puff, puff, pass. Number two, first pass should be always made to the left. Number three, Whoever packs the bowl or bong or rolls the joint or blunt sparks it. No exceptions. Number four, do not steal lighters. And number five, never break the rotation. The circle is sacred. So that's um, Wednesdays with Larawana for this week. Don't forget, every Wednesday right here on canawanabuy.com, we'll bring you some light stories, some medical stories, and some recreational information on marijuana legalization and medical marijuana. So we'll be back next Wednesday. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love.